Two weeks ago, Courtney Barron brought her dog to this animal facility to get treatment for some injuries. Two weeks later, today, Barron is thinking about taking legal action for what she claims was a misdiagnosis. Courtney Barron remembers her dog Bella being full of energy and chasing after things in her yard. But everything changed two weeks ago. After suffering a dog bite, Barron sent Bella to Angel's Vet Express in Savannah for treatment. We were concerned that her back right leg was broken. Um, they told us that she had no broken bones and that her injury should heal. A diagnosis Barron immediately questioned. My thought would have been to do an x-ray with the wounds being deep. After being given healing cream and told to return in two weeks, Barron says Bella's injuries got worse. Barron took Bella to a new vet where she learned Bella's leg needed to be amputated. She would jump on me when I came home and she doesn't do that anymore. So. Angel's Vet Express founder Gary Silverglatt stands by the facility's treatment. I read exactly what they did and she was told to come back and if she didn't feel it was right. She could have called us the next day or said something's wrong, come back. Silverglatt says as soon as Barron worried about infection, she should have taken Bella back for care. It's her fault. It's her responsibility. Bring it back. We don't know. We did everything appropriately. Come on, scratch it. As Barron contemplates possible legal action, she hopes a similar situation does not happen to another dog. In St. Joseph, Tom Dempsey, 41 Action News.